know what, guys? I've been wondering, why haven't you gotten me a flaming sword? Why haven't we gotten you a flaming sword? Yes. I've been missing. I've been. I've been we don't like you. We're not your friends. That's, that's why. Uh, that's fucking. That's why. That's fucking. So we up. hate to break it to you. That's fucked but, up. Uh, we don't like you. We're actually using you for your body. I just don't feel right playing Dark Souls without my flaming sword. <laughs> It doesn't feel appropriate. Well, you know what? You, you can't always have what you want. Okay, you gotta in life. You gotta you gotta take what you, what the cards have decked to your face, and then you you look at the stars and you go, "That's the way the cookie crumbles." I understand you make lemons with lemonade, but you haven't given me any lemons. Well, the grass is greener on the other side. If Ginger once told me, I mean, what she was what uh, goes, HIV positive. What goes up must come down. <laughs> As he continued the journey Saint of Lord Bottom Bottom. Stweeb? What the fuck is a Stweeb? Oh, Saint Weeb? All right, so. Lord Bottom Bun. Lord Bottom Bun. The most popular of his class, of course. Lord Bottom Bun. Woo. Yes. Oh, damn. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes. The last time he left off, he missed a dragon flying off. Yes. Well, no, he's not. And he's not Why using his shield. Oh, oops. I oh, forgot. There you I go. I keep okay. wanting to parry. But, go, but you, should, you should heal when you can. You're going to die. Yeah. Why must you insist on dying? Unless you can run in shield. I'm guessing hard. Okay. What? <laughs> uh, I'm sorry? He said that in it. He said that it's. Uh, I said I like it when. I can run with my shield. Mm hmm. It gets me hard. Okay. Oh. I don't like you. <laughs> what song were like you singing? You very initially? much right now. What was that? You and oh, your no, I was singing Maroon 5 mixed with Dark Souls Ian. <laughs> ah, Maroon Souls, of course. I, Too many times before. I like the way that goes. Yeah, you, so I'm you're saying that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like the way that goes. Sounds like what's <laughs> <laughs> wicked old witch, the wicked witch. Uh, like, why is it good that? old ballad of fear returns. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ooh. Flaming, flaming I, I, I didn't even. I don't even remember doing that. That the impromptu song. It's lit. This is fire. It's, it's pretty. Lit. It's pretty bonfire, if you ask me. It's lit. <laughs> it's All right, lit. so I can't. I can level up now, but I should save them, right? I don't know. Try it. Look at your required souls and how many souls you have. Required souls is on the page that I can't find. To the left, towards, towards under your bottom bun. Your bottom look under your bottom level. bun. Look at the level. blue shit. Stand up. Okay. Spread the cheeks and look under your bottom bun. See how much you can level up. Oh. 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 Okay. Oh. Man. Dude, oh, I so have enough. Phrase, and the only thing that reminds me of is that movie Crash, where... Have you guys seen that movie? Yeah, but spread your cheeks and lift your sack. Yeah, I, well, it was more spread your cheeks and uh, and I will feel up your vagina. That's what happened. Matt, I think Matt Dillon did that. Oh, uh, I only remember that from Dave Chappelle. I didn't like spread Dave Chappelle's cheeks. I like he, stand up bit. What? But yeah. you told us you met him. You met him at the improv comedy place, and then he was like, "Spread your cheeks and lift your sack." And you're like, "I would be honored, Mr. Yes. Chappelle." The notorious local improv comedy place. Yeah, the notorious. Yeah, the no, it's called the Improv. It's called the, the Improv. It's called, it's called uh, it's like a I, can't, I can't think of a it's, uh, it's easy to think of like horrible names for many stores for comedy stores it's impossible the last laugh there we go that's a good one oh, that's pretty yeah that's pretty dark the I la guess the, la <laughs> the last laugh hey. uh, Huckle Chucks that'd be a good one for Huckle a comedy Chucks. store uh, um, I, I like to call one uh, yo yo uh, ha 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 not a, it's not a it's, it is not a farce it's a farley <laughs> How about that one? <laughs> <laughs> Lord Almighty! Uh, I don't. I can't even think of another one. Not a Richie. You just call it Richie. He said we should understand that. Lionel Richie. He yeah. Had, what do you have a restaurant or something? Or we had, what, did you have a, a lounge or a comedy club? I feel like he would. To make up for having such of a whore daughter. <laughs> no, Not whore. my joke, Family Guy. Oh, sure. man. Not my joke, oh, Family Guy. It, oh, the little hussy hanging out with Paris Hilton. <laughs> the early 2000s. Well, else am I supposed to think? She's, it's, but she's All, like, at the age of 11, little Toka Lurker was like, oh, it's Paris Hilton and Nicole Richie. Yeah, they're slow. Those are like the first censored boobs I think I saw. <laughs> On TV <laughs> and Cooter also. It's kind of same. <laughs> I grew up thinking the same thing. I was just like, but, so this is the thing though. Paris Hilton is still Paris Hilton. Nicole Richie actually like yeah, she, turned herself around. Yeah, she like yeah. found a, like like a good husband and all that stuff. She and, cleaned up. Yeah, and I think she's also helps just people in general. I think she donates to charities and stuff like that. 
I don't I don't recall, but I'm happy that she's not that like our image of her is not that she's a oh, dirty, you. dirty slut anymore. Just this a guy. whore. Just a really just a <laughs> tramp. Like the Bush daughters. It's kinda like yeesh. The Bush daughters. Dude, how many times have Robot Chicken A lot. Yes. <laughs> like they had five seasons. At least after the second season, at least like every two episodes. Just jokes about the Bush daughters. <laughs> the Bush daughters. Well it was Corey and Corey go and save the Bush daughters, but then they like were pissed at him and then they wanted to have sex with him or something. I, I can't recall how that how that ended. Now Corey Feldman is trying to save all of Hollywood with his uh, fundraiser he's doing. And he's trying to raise like ten, so a lot of money for all the people who've been objectified and abused by those in Hollywood higher ups. Sexually, of course. Corey, he's been a proprietor of that shit for a long time. Oh, he has? Okay. I was about to I was about to say I feel like I'm not sure which people after this has come out have been like uh, uh, I don't want to get caught. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then, or some people are like, dude, I've been saying this for years and no one's listened because yeah. it's Hollywood. So yeah. I, it's, I always, it's hard to tell. He's definitely, like, witnessed, I think, as a kid, most of it. Like, a lot of the stuff. Uh, you assume, like, oh, wow. Oh, 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 man. That poor, poor child slash man slash woman. They're on drugs now. Childhood stars in the yeah. 80s. Well, now you know because they have so much shit to keep secret in their mind and what's happened to their bodies it just fucks with them and they have nowhere else to turn to accept those drugs and alcohol addictions what they're supposed to do uh rat out the people that are making them famous i think i think there's a story true. of like a party there the person was like 15 16 and a bunch of producers are there and the kids are there mm-hmm. and they're, they're trying to do stuff like get them to do stuff with those teens and whatnot mm-hmm. and, and watch it and like if they didn't do it then well you're fucked so it's like either keep Hush or do the deeds and sucks. Is it really? You're backed into a corner. It's literally, yeah, between a rock and a hard place, really. Like, Ew. It's, it's uh, <laughs> what? Hard place. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, that's horrible. I, I uh, it's just, like, it's your career, it's your livelihood. It's kind of, it's, it's weird. That's why you don't want to really put your eggs in one basket. That's why it's good to, go to school and learn many skills yeah. because in case something like that where you get into business like that where it's like they could just go out beneath you you just gotta have some backup it's a Google something backup. really fast it's like the it's, I can't remember the child actor's name but there's a reason why there are bank funds named after him because his parents should take all his money as a child actor Jesus uh, happens too often man child actor bank law <laughs> <laughs> No uh, child actor can allow to use bank things. Bank notes are no ba- no for child. None at all. None, no child allowed here. The Coogan Law is named for famous child actor Jackie Coogan. Jackie Coogan eventually sued his mother and former manager for his earnings. As a result, in 1939, the Coogan Law was put into effect, presumably to protect future young actors from finding themselves in the same terrible situation that Jackie Coogan was left in. That's sucks. As far back as the late 30s, man. Jesus, that's, man. That's that's telling as hell. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can make a law so your parents don't suck. Yeah. If you're a child or, actor, they're going to try to just take it all from you. Just take it all from you. Oh, you yoy. Wow. <laughs> well, I don't want to be. I, I mean, so it's kind of weird. Like, I, I wouldn't mind, I guess, being in some sort of spotlight. But I don't think I would. I don't think I'd be able to handle being an actor. Because... Just there's so much emotional, like an emotional toll. I feel like it would take on you in like so many different ways. That I'm okay with doing something like this, where it's just kind of three friends shooting the shit, playing video games. Like I'd rat that any day of the week than having to. Wait, Eloy, are you okay? I'm pushing him outside. <laughs> Lord Bottom Bone, your parents will steal your. Shit.